Wow, JC just released a new feature for the V1S Pro and I want to check if this really works. My name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to a new video on our rescue channel. Be sure to subscribe the channel to don't miss any tech news or whatever around the iPhone maintenance. Let's directly go. We go to the top cam and I just want to tell you something about the new features of the V1S Pro version 1.32. Um, it's a new update and the new update includes the Checkmate app and with this Checkmate app so the manufacturer tells us and I want to tell you something about that um, you have the possibility to unlock to unbind uh, the main camera to unbind the infrared camera to unbind the dark projector to unbind the earpiece front flag the front flex within the ambient sensor and uh, um, and uh, the flood illuminator and you can get your true tone data back if you lost that and you can unbind BCMS and whatever. Let's check if it really works. Um, but I already talked to the manufacturer and I want to give you some information before we start that process. So four devices from iPhone XR starting at iPhone XR to iPhone 14 Pro Max. We have that possibility but we need to be on iOS version 15.0 to 16.1.2. So let's check um, what's the version on that phone. So perhaps I can show you something on that phone, but therefore we need to have the right firmware version. If we are higher, we have a problem. And here we are at 16.4. So no possibility to show it to you on that phone sorry so and that is the thing how I want to start this video because that's really a critical issue at the moment that the versions which are supported are only from 15.0 to 16.1.2 and every version after is not supported and it's not supported the phones uh, from uh, for the iPhone X not supported starting at iPhone XR ending at iPhone 14 Pro Max what we can do with it. So if we want to um, do this unbind, you need to have this firmware version and then you have to connect your iPhone to the JC V1S Pro. You need to trust it. And after you trust that the V1S Pro, you can click here on unbind now. If you click on unbind now, the V1S Pro copies this app to your phone and you will see it on the splash screen of your iPhone. If you want to start the app, the iPhone will say, no, that's no trusted source. So you have to go to your settings and then to VPN and there you can allow that app to start. After that, just start the Checkmate app and the unbind starts. And you see, it unbinds all these modules. So if you now logical think, you normally would say, wow, that's a revolution because now I can replace the true depth camera system. That's what I thought first too, but no, it isn't like that. If you do an unbind, like for the earpiece flex, advantage, you don't need to desolder the NAND. If you are on iOS 15.0 to iOS 16.1.2. So then you can just unbind the front flex and replace it but not with one out of another phone, only with a JC receiver flex, earpiece flex, front flex, whatever they call it, okay? So it makes less work because you don't need to take out the NAND, but you need to be on this iOS version. And that's a disadvantage. Hopefully more firmware versions will be supported in future, but it's only like a new update comes and um, until JC or other brands can use this, then a newer firmware will come. And most of the people do updates of their phones. And that's the problem which I see in this function. It makes sense if you are on this firmware version because you have less work with that. So yeah, the next thing is you see infrared camera unbind and you think, wow, amazing. I can replace the infrared cam now. No, it isn't like that. 
JC will release a flex cable which you can connect like a tack on to or it is a tack on to the infrared cam. So after you did the unbind you need to use another infrared cam with a tack on flex. Okay and then you can use another infrared cam. That's what JC told me an hour ago because I wanted to know everything about these new functions before I do a video. So I said, JC, I really need these informations. And they said, okay, Ben, okay, Dr. Ben, we give you these informations. So it's like you need to tag on, the tag on isn't released at moment. Same for the dart projector, you need a tag on flex, otherwise you can't swap the dart projector. They said to me, Yes, you can swap the dart projector to another one, but only with a JC tag on flex. So that's what's, what comes directly from, from JC, okay? The next thing is BCMS. You think, okay, I can unbind the BMS, the battery management system now, so I don't need to swap this anymore from one to the other battery. But, sorry, you need to swap it. I said, JC, why? I can do an unbind for the BMS, but I need to swap it and they said oh there is no other way so in this situation yes you can do an unbind for the BMS but you still have to swap the BMS from the old battery to the new battery and you have to use a tag on flex so no advantage in this case advantage in the case earpiece flex because you don't need to solder out an end disadvantage iOS version for the true depth camera system advantage you can use tag on flexes but they are not on the mark market actually but they will come Advantage, if you lost your true tone data, you can get it with that. Not a problem, but you need to be on the iOS version, okay? So there are some things you just need to understand about that. And uh, I really would like to show you how this works with, an, with a phone. But the problem actually is I don't have any phone here which is on this iOS version. So I got uh, iPhone 13 here, which has a broken front flex, and I wanted uh, to show this to you with the new feature of the V1 S Pro, but it's iOS 16.4.1. So with 16.4.1, I can't use this checkmate function. So these are the news from the update for the JC V1 S Pro, you see they do something, they are behind it and they build new functions, that's pretty nice. But in this case, I'm really happy that they, that they do and don't understand it wrong and I like it and thumbs up. But for me actually, these functions are cool but don't make sense because most of the people are already on a higher iOS version. But if you have a device with a lower iOS version and you have a broken front, fle front flex or uh, you want uh, you don't have your true tone data anymore at all, that's pretty nice. So I hope that you um, that you like the news and I try to give you more and more as soon as they come. I would be very happy if you would subscribe. Oh. It was going away. If you would subscribe the channel and I will give you more news about the iPhone maintenance tools and news within the next videos. I'm out. My name is Dr. Ben and we see you with the next one.